God that I had you in the waiting room not to mess you up but to pick you up oh man are you in here sometimes God got us wandering in the waiting room and he's saying listen you waiting on me and I'm just waiting on you to work while you're waiting you missed in this. Huh? You want me to bless you? God say, work and wait while I bless you. Huh? Because everybody that I call, when I found them, I found them working. Huh? Come here, David. Jesse, oh, are you in here? Samuel came to Jesse's house. Jesse say, Samuel say, listen, there's a boy who's going to be the next man. Can I just Dawsonize it for you? Uh, Samuel, uh, Jesse rather brought, brought the sons in the house. Uh, Jesse, uh, uh, Samuel say, no, not him. No, not him. Huh? He good. He looked good, but not him. He said, well, listen, this old, this is who I have. He said, no, you got another boy. Huh? Jesse looked around. You mean the one that's out yonder? Huh? I mean, we got two perfectly, huh? Huh? Three perfectly, four, eight, however many you want. Good boys right here. But that's not the one. I don't care how good he looks. I don't care how good he smells. It ain't the one. Can I help you real quick? Sometimes the person that you want ain't the person that you need. Look at your neighbor, ask him, what's been that ear? What are you looking for? Boy, I got to get out of here, Charlie. My time is up. Are you in here? Huh? And so, and so, and so, and so. Say, that's a little boy out there. Little shepherd boy. Bring him on in here. Dave coming out a little around. Found him working. He out there in the field. <laughs> Huh, Dusty? Huh? Mud on his shoes. Dirt under his fingers. Uh, are you in here? And can I help y'all real quick? Can, can, I, can I just help y'all just real quick? Can I park right here parenthetically real quick? A real woman don't have a problem with a real man that smell bad so long as he has a reason for why he smell the way he smells. Look at your name and say, oh, we. She ain't got a problem, huh? As a matter of fact, she'll get fingernail clippers and clean the dirt so long as he bring it home to bacon. Are you in here, huh? She have a fresh pot of beans on the stove. Corn, come on, huh? She'll meal prep three weeks out. Talk back to me if you can. So now also brought, brought, <laughs> brought David in the house saying, no, that's the one right there. That's the one. That's the next one. That's the next one. God found him working. And so, in the text, in the text, come with me and I'm out of here. She was bent, but she wasn't broke. And Jesus was teaching. And you know what he did? Text say he saw. It's in your Bible. He saw. He saw. He saw. But he didn't just see. He interacted. He got engaged. Got involved. He involved himself. And aren't you glad that Jesus saw you? Are there any? Do I have at least one grateful person in the place of power that's just glad that Jesus saw you? When everybody else closed their eyes, Jesus said, my eyes are open. <laughs> ah, watch this. Watch this. And so, number two, and I'm out of here. Bending stature does not mean broken in spirit. Number two, intentionality on my part provoked initiative on his part. <laughs> when you're intentional on doing what you know is right. The Lord will see you and become actively involved 
In other words, God has a problem with lazy folk. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 6. Verse number 6. Consider the ants. Uh, how they work. They tall preparing for the various seasons now these ants that are talked about in the book of proverbs are what's called worker ants lord have mercy huh now worker ants have the ability to talk and engage with one another and you might not understand what they're saying but they speak ant language just like folk who've been in church a little while can speak church language. And we black folk, us folk, folk that look like you and I, we can talk without saying a word. We can have a whole conversation without saying, without saying, without saying a word. Are you in here? So the text says that Jesus saw her. And when he saw her, he called. Let's ride, Clyde. Called her by name. Are you in there? Yeah. Called her over and said to her, woman, maybe that's her name. Preach, boy. Yeah. Yeah. You are free. Yes, sir. Uh, King James Version, woman, thou art loosed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her. And the Bible says, immediately. I like that word, brothers and sisters. Because God has a way of showing up. CC just in the nick, in the nick of time. Big Mama used to say it until I found out better that God may not come. Yeah, when you want him to. But he's always on time. Uh, immediately, she was made straight. She was made straight because there was power in the hands of the man who laid. Uh, and I wish I hanged about uh, 12 folk. Yeah, in the New Providence Baptist Church, the place of power, who can testify that he laid his hands on you? Y'all don't hear me. Hang. Not only did he lay his hands on you, but you felt something way down in your spirit. Yeah, Lord. Uh -huh. You, you felt, yeah, things working out for your good. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? You felt a little pep in your step. 
yeah, you had a little gusto. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? Your eyes flew wide open. Yeah, tears flowed from your face. Y'all don't hear me. Your hand flew way up. As you wanted the Lord to take you, can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? And the only thing that Pastor Dawson wants you to see, one touch from the master can make everything all right if you just show up and be a witness can I get a witness in here can you say amen if you show up he'll show up y'all help me in here if you show up he'll heal your body if you show up he'll take your places that you ain't never been before can I get a witness in here can you say amen is there anybody in this building if you ain't too mean if you ain't too stuck up if you ain't too bougie if you ain't too hungry stand up on your feet and help the little preacher close his message grab your neighbor by the hand grab your neighbor y'all ain't grabbing I say grab your neighbor by the hand shake that neighbor's hand with some power shake that neighbor's hand with some conviction shake 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 that neighbor by the hand and say neighbor say neighbor neighbor I don't know how you feel about it one touch from the Lord can bring back my wayward child. One touch from the Lord can mend that broken relationship. One touch from the Lord can make me fall on my knees. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, just one touch, just one touch, just one touch, just one touch, just one touch from the Lord can touch my back and straighten me up. Just one touch can pay my bills. Just one touch can increase my finances. Just one touch can put me in a brand new house when my credit won't get it. Just one touch. Just one touch. One touch. Yeah!